Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Mary Middleton, a Democratic candidate for Oregon State Representative District 4. Good to see you. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you're a teacher at RCC. You know, is This is your first run for political office, correct? That's correct. Okay, so so have you ever, uh, have you ever had any involvement in politics? Um, I answered correct to first run at political office. I'm actually a, an elected member of the Southern Oregon Education Service District. Okay. But that's a volunteer position. It's an unpaid position. Okay. Um, but this is my first run at a paid position, yeah. Um, and it's kind of like a calling that won't stop, uh, like a sense of responsibility and service to the community. Um, and I also was the campaign manager in Josephine County for the genetically engineered plant ordinance. Mm -hmm. And uh, we won at the ballot in May 2014 along with Jackson County. And since then, we have been unable to enforce that uh, law that's on the books in Josephine County. And we have begged and pleaded and gone to Salem and sent letters and asked our elected representatives to stand and, uh, with the will of the people and honor uh, the will of the people for Josephine County. And they have not. So that is one thing that I would like to uh, remedy because it's a very easy legislative fix that can that can be done to honor the will of the people in Josephine County. Is it fair to say that that for reasons like that or reasons you're trying to get involved in Salem to to yes. help the will of the yes. people? Yes, that and more. Of, of course, yes. Okay, has has running uh, is, is getting involved in politics or running for office like this, as you said, different from the SOESD position? Has has that been something you've thought long and hard about? I mean, something you've been considering for a long time, or yes, quite a long time. And in fact, I went through the Emerge Oregon um, political candidate training in Southern Oregon, uh, which was about six weeks long, and a group of really fantastic, dynamic women, who we just um, you know met every Saturday from. Nine to nine to four, I think, for uh, about uh, eight weeks, almost every every week, about six times we met, and uh, that was a training about how to become and how to make that decision to put your name out there. You know, women tend to to hold back a little bit more than men do. Uh, it's harder for us to 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 go for it, and that training gave me the confidence to to go for it. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Mary Middleton, a Democratic candidate for Oregon State Representative District 4. Uh, you say we need our politicians to be willing to reach across the aisle and work for community improvement. Why should voters think you're the person to do that? Well, I have a history of collaboration uh, at, um, at RCC. I'm part of the bargaining team uh, with our uh, uh, education association. Um, it takes uh, collaboration to to get students to actually do their math homework uh, as a college teacher, I can say that. Uh, and, um, you know, the, the political feather in my hat, that genetically engineered plant ordinance, that absolutely was a bipartisan issue. And that was a community effort. Um, no one person can get credit for that. That was us working together as a community, asking to protect small family farmers and, and protect uh, the sources of our food. Cap and trade was it was a big topic of uh, debate in Salem uh, this mm -hmm. year and promises to be up for a debate in 2020 before you could potentially be elected. Does Oregon need to act on climate change in your opinion? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We need to um, invest in the, the young people who are coming up with dynamic solutions uh, and we need to um, just work towards solutions that are uh, not investing in fossil fuels and depleting the earth. And, and anything we haven't mentioned, that uh, what, what else is on your priority list if elected for a sale? Well, education, for sure. Um, the uh, act that was passed uh, this uh, last session, the Student Save Success Our Student, Act. Yeah, Student mm -hmm. Success Act, uh, <clears throat> was a great start. But funding for community colleges was left out of that uh, act, and, and community colleges were basically barely funded. And they provide um, not only uh, access to education for the community in 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 many ways. Uh, I say not only, but uh, in many ways, we provide um, certifications with with within many aspects of uh, community work that's needed, and partnerships within the community, so that the college is educating future future workers, so that businesses can thrive in the mm. area. So, um, providing educational um, funding for community colleges, I think is really, really important. All right, great to meet you. Thanks so much for coming in, appreciate it. Thank you for having All me. All right, stay with us, we'll be right back.